Race number six at Betfair Hollywood Park on a Saturday. $8,000 claimers going five and a half furlongs. Scratches here of the 13, 14, and 50, leaving us with a field of 12. Co favorites at three to one. The actual post time favorite was the eight horse Dance with Gable, Edwin Maldonado riding there. Here's Vic Stoffer with the sixth. They're at the post. They're off. American Wildcat broke well, so did Hidden Blessing, Sir Hamilton in the mix, Distinctive Dude and Fire in the Wind, then Lone Justice, Arabian Storm, and a Fleet Deal. Imperial Pride is next, then looking for Candy and Dance with Gable, and the trailer is Dave's Pacemaker. From the outside to the rail, American Wildcat just in front of Hidden Blessing and a three-wide Fire in the Wind. It's two and a half lengths, two. Distinctive Dude and Lone Justice, fourth and fifth and three from the front. Sir Hamilton now sixth at the rail and ridden along. Dance with Gable has Eight lengths to make up, a fleet deal just inside of him. Arabian Storm is about to be joined and passed by both Imperial Pride and Looking for Candy and Dave's Pacemaker at the back of the pack. Three across the track heading for home. At the rail, American Wildcat, a three-wide fire in the wind. Hidden Blessing right between them, and Hidden Blessing has put his red blinkers in front. Fire in the wind goes right with him. Lone Justice up into third. Dance with Gable fourth. Fire in the wind has taken over the lead from Hidden Blessing in second. Lone Justice closing in the center. Imperial Pride too late. Fire in the wind is clear, and Fire in the wind wins. Fire in the wind won by a length. Lone Justice just beat Hidden Blessing for second, and Imperial Pride was fourth. Long shot exact at race number six. That was 29 to one shot. Fire in the wind getting the money over 37 to one shot. Lone Justice, $61.80. The win mutual. Runner up paid $35 to place. Keying a superfecta. 11, 9, 6, 3 were the numbers. $19,930 even. Mario Gutierrez rode the winner there. There was a claim out of race number six. The three horse Imperial Pride goes to trainer Rene Amescua. We'll take a break and return with the late. Quarter million dollar guaranteed pool, pick four. We move on to the late quarter million dollar guaranteed pool, pick four. These are Calbred Maiden Special Weights, three year olds and up. This race carded for the turf will be run at three quarters of a mile on cushion track. Scratches here of the three M240, the five Killat, the eight Catkin Scat, and the ten High Chooch. Two horses went postward at 5 to 2. Actual favorite was on the rail, Troy Story with Rafael Bejarano. Vic Stoffer with the seventh. They're off. Wait, wait, don't tell me, broke slowly. Valley of Kings and in a wine tizzy break best. Silver Dragon and Troy Story away 3 4. Red Man Run and Star of America. And Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me is out sprinted already double digits behind. Valley of Kings and in a wine tizzy up the back stretch. Valley of Kings a half length in front. In a wine tizzy is second by two lengths from Silver Dragon who tracks from third. Star of America is on the move three deep in fourth. In the black cap and about four from the front. Troy Story back at the rail fifth now and six off the lead. Red Man Run and Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me has moved out of last place. He's eight lengths behind at the top of the stretch. Valley of Kings and In a Wine Tizzy with Silver Dragon tracking those two. And here's Silver Dragon the Gray within a length and a quarter of the lead. Five lengths now back to Troy Story and Wait, wait, don't tell me. New leader, top of the stretch. Silver Dragon comes calling for the front. Silver Dragon slingshots to the lead, and he's suddenly two in front of Valley of Kings in second. Wait, wait, don't tell me. He's running a nice one after a bad start in Troy Story, but they're all chasing Silver Dragon, who's now three in front. Valley of Kings is second. Silver Dragon wins. Silver Dragon won by two and three quarters. Valley of Kings was second. Wait, wait, don't tell me. Third, and Troy Story finished fourth. Silver Dragon gets the money here under jockey Brees Blanc. Nice win for trainer Dennis Eakins. And Silver Dragon breaks through in career start number nine at odds of five to two, paying $7.60. Pick three, concluding with that win, $502.60. Six furlongs on cushion track in a minute 13 and 79 one hundredths. We go on to race number eight. Good allowance event here at a mile and a sixteenth. Several stakes types in this lineup. Five to two, co favorite but actual favorite on the tote board at post time was the one horse, Jay Cito. Bob Baffert trained a couple in here. Jay Cito ridden by Julian Leperu. There was one scratch out of race number eight. The seven horse, Java Man, came out. They're at the post. They're off. 
Golden it is broke well. Guido Panzini with a couple taps of the whip shows speed. Blue skies and rainbows. Now Golden it is relents, takes back, and he'll sit in third alongside Regulus. Then comes Trace Baracho, and Jay Cito, and the early trailer is Fly, Lexus Fly. Solid pace onto the back stretch with Guido Panzini and Blue Skies and Rainbows. Guido Panzini ahead in front. Blue Skies and Rainbows is second now by three and a half lengths to Regulus and Golden It Is. They're reserved third and fourth, now three and a half from the front runners. It's another six or seven back to Trace Barachos. Jay Cito is second to last. He's got double digits to make up. So does Fly Lexus Fly, and they're up the back stretch. Five furlongs left to race. Guido Panzini is the leader. Blue Skies and Rainbows stays right with him, though. Guido Panzini just ahead in front. Blue Skies and Rainbows is second. Now Regulus is clearly third. He's about three from the front and a half length in front of Golden It Is. Trace Barachos is fifth and nine lengths off the lead. Jay Cito's outside of him. Jay Cito has 11 to come. Fly Lexus Fly is the trailer, and they leave the back stretch. And Blue Skies and Rainbows puts his head in front of Guido Panzini. Blue Skies and Rainbows, now a half length, now a full length in front of an all-in Guido Panzini. Golden it is, Regulus, Trace Barachos three wide. Jay Cito is moving up. He'll be five wide, but he is moving up, traveling in the center of the racetrack. Fly Lexus, fly, Blue Skies and Rainbows. Jay Cito circling up outside of Trace Barachos. These three, here comes Trace Barachos, and here comes Jay Cito. Jay Cito and Trace Barachos to the final 16th. Jay Cito's a neck in front. Now he's a full length in front. Trace Barachos is second. Fly Lexus Fly is third. Jay Cito. Yes. Jay Cito won by just over two. Trace Barachos second. Fly Lexus Fly third. Golden it is. Finished fourth. Jay Cito won a no part of a mile and three quarters on dirt in the Breeders' Cup Marathon, but that was a big late run today. You can see Julian Leperu. It was all he could do to keep that one maintaining a straight course as he looped up wide and won going away. Four-year-old son of Victory Gallop, now three for 13 in his racing career. Jay Cito pays $7.20 for the win. He gets the mile into 16th in a minute 46 and 32 one hundredths. We'll take one more break, come back with Saturday's Late Daily Double. Race number nine at Bet Bear Hollywood Park, a first level allowance originally scheduled for six furlongs on the turf. It will be run at six furlongs on cushion track. Scratches here, the one, three, six, seven, and ten come out. We're down to a field of five. Eight to five post time favorite was the four horse, Purim's Dancer, one of two in here for trainer Tom Proctor. Here's Vic with the nine. They're off. Hiding in plain sight and Purim's Dancer break well. Hiding in plain sight, fast up the back stretch and now two in front. Then comes River Kiss and Credit Card Roulette is the trailer. Up into second is Amy's Outburst. Hiding in plain sight up the back stretch in charge. A two and a half length lead over Amy's Outburst and Purim's Dancer. River Kiss runs in fourth and about six off the lead and Credit Card Roulette has a half mile to make up nine lengths as Hiding in Plain Sight has been in charge since they sprung it. Hiding in Plain Sight rounds the far turn with a three and a half or four length lead now from Amy's Outburst and Purim's Dancer. River Kiss ridden along, eight off the lead. Credit Card Roulette has 11 lengths to make up. Quarter pole and Hiding in Plain Sight is in charge. Hiding in plain sight to the top of the stretch. Still a four-length advantage. Purim's Dancer is now closing in, and that advantage has just been cut in half. Purim's Dancer, credit card roulette, has made up a lot of ground. Up inside the final furlong, hiding in plain sight. Two in front. Credit card roulette is a big danger, and here comes credit card roulette, hiding in plain sight. Credit card roulette in time. Credit card roulette won by about two in the end. Hiding in plain sight second, Purim's Dancer third, Amy's Outburst finished fourth. Race number nine goes to the other Tom Proctor trainee. That was Credit Card Roulette from well off the pace under Garrett Gomez, turning back in distance, finished with a lot more enthusiasm in this one. That's a three-year-old daughter of Northern of Fleet. She's now two for seven in her racing career. She pays $8.40 for the win. She got the six furlongs in a minute 13 and 37 one hundredths. One more to come on the Saturday program. We wrap things up with a field of $20,000 maiden claimers, three-year-olds and up going seven furlongs. Scratches here of the two, four, five, and 11. The 16 Suan Song draws in from the also eligible list. Five to two post-time favorite was the eight horse, 
Vizigodo, one of two in the field for trainer Mike Pipey. Vic Stauffer with the Saturday finale. They're at the post. They're off. Good start for Vizigato, who shows a speed. Mind the mas master is close up, through from the inside, and Rockin' Cherokee and Expensive Pens. Out of the chute they run, and Mind the Master and Expensive Pens are one, two. Rockin' Cherokee now in the third. Then comes Between Horses Visigato, Wild for Ladies, and Prince Bandini at the rail. It's a length and three quarters back to Suance's song. Coranto is in and amongst that back group. Northern Glow is there as well as they go into the far turn. The leader is Mind the Master from Expensive Pens. Mind the Master, now three quarters of a length. Expensive Pens is second two lengths. Rockin' Cherokee is after the front runners. Here's Rockin' Cherokee. Meanwhile, Mind the Master has opened up a two length lead. Visigado is next. Then comes Suwant's Song and from the back of the pack, Coranto, top of the stretch. Mind the Master is the leader. Mind the Master, Rockin' Cherokee is closer now in second. Rockin' Cherokee after Mind the Master. Three back to Suwant's Song and moving up into third and they come to the final 16th and here's Rockin' Cherokee outside of Mind the Master and Rockin' Cherokee has taken over the lead. Rockin' Cherokee is the new leader. Mind the Master second, Rockin' Cherokee. Pick six, carry over tomorrow. Rockin' Cherokee beat Mind the Master. Suwant's Song finished third. Finishing fourth was Midnight Raven. Rock and Cherokee gets the money at odds of 9 to 2 in our nightcap today. Mario Gutierrez rode this three year old son of Rock Hard 10. He came down from Hastings Racecourse in British Columbia where he'd been the beaten odds on favorite in all four prior starts. Well, today he wasn't the favorite and he gets the money. He's now one for five. He's never been off the board. $11.20 for the win. Two wins on the day for jockey Mario Gutierrez. The Superfecta there, 10, 13, 16, 14, $815.80. Super High Five, 10, 13, 16, 14, and 15. So all the action towards the outside in that field. Super High Five, 15 winning tickets return $5,539.80. Late Pick Four Pool was in excess of $552,000. Over 1,200 winning tickets collect $344.40. The big news on Saturday. Nobody caught the pick six. There'll be a carryover into Sunday's program of $110,904. The place pick all, nine of 10 today, pays $876.10 on 17 winning tickets. Scratches on Sunday's card, they're all out of race number nine. Three horses come out, take out the nine horse, Space Coast, the 12 California Roll, and the 15 horse, Warren's Cole. And remember, a pick six carryover of $110,904. And that'll do it for Saturday racing at Betfair Hollywood Park. We have a nine race program coming up tomorrow Sunday with a 12.30 p.m. first post time. Our feature is race number eight. That's the $100,000 Vernon O. Underwood Stakes. Sprinters going six furlongs in there, including a couple of horses that were last seen in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. For track announcer Vic Stauffer, I'm Rich Perloff. Hope to see you tomorrow at Betfair Hollywood Park. <laughs>